Before I launch Website X5, I'm just going to show you how I've configured my hard drives. I'll open up my PC. And you can see here that I have a number of different hard drives, but I'm going to dedicate this one to my project that I'm going to be working on with Website X5. This hard drive is completely empty, so we have lots of space to store our files for our website. I'll close this for now. And we'll start Website X5 Professional. Before you get going with your design of your website, there's a few housekeeping chores that have to be taken care of. And that comes in under the Preferences options here. I'll click Preferences. And we can see a couple of things right off the bat. One is where your project is going to get saved. And by default, when you open up Website X5, the projects are saved in C colon users, the name of your computer, documents, Incomedia, Website X5, professional. I don't want that. What I want to do is I want to save my project on that drive that I just showed you that we have, which is completely empty. So I'm going to click on here to navigate through my drives. I'm going to go to the web design drive right here, choose it. And I'm going to make a new folder on this drive. And that new folder is going to be the name of my project. I'm working on a project for a company that does asphalt paving. Uh, so the name of the folder will be the name of their website, basically. I'll call it X5 Pro. And then the name of the company, Lambert Brothers Paving. Click OK. And now we see the new folder where my projects are going to be saved. I don't recommend saving the projects in the default folder on your C drive. It's never a good idea to save data on your C drive. The C drive is meant to hold your programs, your operating system. Your data should be stored elsewhere, as I'm doing here. Now, the second thing we have to look at before we continue is this business about web fonts. And when I click on web font, you can see here there are no web fonts currently available for me to work with in this particular project. Web fonts are custom fonts that will work on your website, but will also display properly on all browsers, whether they're for the PC or for the Mac. Now, what I want to do is I want to create another folder for storing my web fonts. So we're going to leave this dialog box for now. And we'll come back to it shortly but I just want to show you how I'm going to create a folder to store my web fonts and also how to access web fonts and add them to the list. So for now, I'll click Cancel. So I'm going to minimize Website X5. Come over to my hard drives. This is the drive we're going to use for creating our website. Here's the folder we just created. I'll double click to open that folder. And now I want to make a new folder in here for my fonts. I'll right click. New folder. I'll call it My Web Fonts. And we'll just make this window a little bit smaller. And let's see where we get web fonts. One of the best sites for getting web fonts is from Google Fonts. I'll open up a browser. And I'm going to do a search for Google Fonts. Here we have a link for Google Fonts. Click on that. 
and you can see a new window opens up with a vast array of fonts that are available to be used on websites. I'm just going to select a couple of these at random. So I'll start with this one, for example. Select the font. Uh, maybe this one over here. Select the font. And scroll down a little bit. Select this font here. So I've selected three different fonts just to begin. We'll come down to the bottom of the screen, click on this little window, and you can see that these are the three fonts that I selected. We don't need to worry about any of this coding that is shown down below. Because we're using Website X5, we don't have to think about how to do coding to incorporate these fonts. It will all be handled by the software, Website X5. I'll click the download button here. And you can see that a folder has been downloaded to my computer called fonts.zip. I'll click on this. And you can see here I'm in my downloads folder and I have three fonts that have been downloaded. Just going to make this window a bit bigger. Double click. There's one. There's two. And there's three. I'll close the browser for now. And here in my downloads folder, I have a folder called fonts.zip and I want to unzip this file. So I'm going to simply right click and drag it into an open space here and choose extract. They're going to be extracted right here. And here are my fonts. I want to place these fonts into my web fonts folder. So I'm going to double click to open up my web fonts. And then I'll open up this folder. And I'll copy this across. Under the Josephin file, I'll select all these fonts and copy them across. And under Oswald, double click, select my fonts. and copy them across. You can see now my web fonts sitting inside the X5 Pro Lambert Brothers paving folder and inside here my web fonts. Now we have to tell Website X5 how to find these fonts. I'll close this window. And we'll come back to the Website X5. Bring it back up on screen. Back to our Preferences. We'll click on Preferences again. Come across to Web Font. And now we need to add all of the fonts that we just downloaded from Google and put them into this list. There is no easy way to do this other than to do them one by one, which is a little unfortunate. I'll click Add, and it's looking for the name of the font, so I'll click on this little folder. Navigate to our hard drive, my web fonts, and we'll just do them from top to bottom. So here's the first one. Click open, 
and then click OK. And then click Add. Click here. Next one. Open. OK. And you can see the fonts are being added to our list. I'll click Add. Select the folder. Third one. Click Open. Click OK. I'm going to pause recording this tutorial and come back after I've added all the fonts to the list following the same procedure. So now you can see that we've added all of the fonts that we downloaded from Google, and they now all exist in our Web Font tab, so Website X5 knows about these fonts and we can use them in our web design. I'm going to click OK. We're ready to proceed to the next phase of using Website X5, which we'll get to with the Start button that I'll be showing you in just a minute.